Hi there traders, Monique here and welcome the Empress Day Trader. Well, this video I'm going to be going over uh, some four tips, four tips on how to build your confidence when placing a trade. And that seems to be a consistent question, uh, even with all the training that people get, uh, uh, people are still afraid to execute the trade or either uh, not clear about um, how to, oh, you know, when to take uh, execute the trade. So that's what we're going to go. That's what I'm going to go over. Building your confidence. All right. And it's just four easy, four simple steps that, you know. <laughs> okay. The so uh, this is a disclaimer. You've seen this before. Uh, the presentation uh, is for educational purposes only, and you realize that you know trading involves a higher degree of risk, and that you assume. Um, uh, we assume no responsibility for your trading results and uh, you're acting at, on your own and uh, you have to decide the suitability of um, trading based on your you know, risk capital. And uh, so any trades placed upon the reliance on the Monique Rochelle company, the Embers Day Trader systems are taken at your own risk for your own account. So this is not an offer to buy or sell uh, futures, commodities, stocks, options, other financial instruments. If that's what you're looking for, then consult your financial advisor. And uh, you should therefore consider whether such trading is suitable for you in light of your financial conditions. Okay? All right. So let's take a look at the four tips. I think you're going to like this. Okay. And it's really simple. You'll see. All right, we're going to take a look at the charts in a minute. Okay, so how to build your confidence when placing a trade. Where's your checklist? Okay, so when you come through our training, you know, we're, we're, gonna, we're teaching you how to read the market, price action, uh, momentum indicators, moving averages, all that good stuff. Okay, so then there, you know, you build your strategy. And when you build your strategy, you have a set of criteria. And those are the things that you look for uh, prior to taking the trade, okay? So you might have, you know, let's say four or five criteria. You shouldn't have a whole lot because then you'll never take the trade, okay? So uh, have like, you know, three or four uh, setups that you use prior to taking the trade. So for an example, if the MACD does this, then I'm going to do this. And then that's one thing, right? And then if, you know, this moving average does this, I'm going to do that. So you're looking at what are those criteria, okay? So if you, let's say you have four criteria and you, the market's doing this, yep, check. Market's doing that, yep, check. Market's doing this, market's doing that, yep, check, done, I'm taking a trade. So that's how you build your confidence, and the more you do it, the more it just becomes second nature to you. Okay, now, one of the one, uh, part of your checklist is check the economic calendar. Now, I use the Forex Factory. I'm going to bring this over. I use the Forex Factory economic calendar, but you can use any, Bloomberg, Yahoo Finance. You can use any economic calendar, and this is just going to show you uh, the you know news announcements, the important news announcements that are happening, and then I like the um, and I think all of them do it. It gives you you can click on on here and it gives you the detail uh, of what that um, uh, that news announcement is about is about. And so these are little houses and it says impact. So it lets you know the red is a high impact the orangey color is a medium, yellow is a low impact. So each of the economic calendars has their own, you know, color and <laughs> like that. And so it lets you know what kind of impact it's going to have on trading volatility. Okay. So have that part of your checklist. So you come when you come and you're ready to trade. All right. Uh, check the, uh, the uh, economic calendar. Next, uh, is the market doing this, 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 or that? All right taking a trade. Now, before you even do that, okay, so this is number two. Number three, check in with yourself. How do you feel? It is really important to check in with yourself and ask yourself, how do I feel? You could, if you trade upset, angry, pissed off, worried, rushed, that's all going to have an impact on your trading. 
It's natural. It's just like if you're upset because uh, about something and then you go drive. It's going to affect your driving. It's going to affect, affect your clarity and your judgment and your focus. Okay, so check in with yourself. Even you know, it, it's the simplest thing that people forget or fail to do. Okay, check in with yourself. How do you feel? How do I feel today? If you feel great, go, boom, do it. If you're not feeling so great, you know, go do, go take a walk or whatever you have to do to calm yourself prior to taking a trade, or just don't take trade that day. Okay. Now, did you eat? This is the last one. Did you eat? Right. All these things that we take for granted, you know, before we even started trading, you know, like these are things we take take for granted. We grab a cup of coffee, maybe some water, we run out the door. But when you're trading and you have your money on the line and all that, you know, you want to make sure that you have properly nourished yourself. Uh, so um, have, you know, have something that's at least going to sustain you for the couple of hours that you're going to be trading. All right, so those are the four tips to build your confidence in placing your trades, okay? And as you can see, they're very short, very quick. It's a very short uh, checklist. So um, you do this continuously over and over where it becomes a habit. Before you know it, you, you know, you're doing this checklist and you're good to go <laughs> and you're placing your trades with confidence, okay? All right, now, um, check in, be sure to check in and um, see what we've got going on uh, with other, other posts. I have, uh, I'm going to be doing some uh, videos on leverage, pop, properly leveraging and uh, momentum indicators. So stay tuned for that and stay tuned for the next course that we have going on. Once again, this is Monique, the Empress Day Trader. I'll see you again.